morning from Nimbib. And as you can see, we are not the luckiest with the weather, but we are going to have some really cozy morning. And after that, we are going to see what we are going to do today. Every morning they listen all to this, uh, what kind of music is this? It sounds a bit, uh, this kind of music. And they put the loudspeaker full on, big ghetto blasters, so that the whole neighborhood can enjoy. <laughs> I think it is such a cute town and the fact that it's raining, it makes everything super cozy. We're here, this is of course the perfect morning to have a nice coffee somewhere. Even before getting our coffees, we already got a shot of whiskey. Uh, there's some warm in my whiskey. Oh really? No, it's a tea. You have this alcohol with worms in it and then you drink the warm and it explodes in your body and you get super drunk. Really? Yeah. Look, there's all coconut oh. at the bottom, you see? Mira, look. Mm. Oh, the coffee is really nice and strong. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, that's already a good start. So mm. if it's raining here, no which 50% of the time it would be, there's a lots of cafes, lots of cute restaurants, so you can just sit and enjoy the rain. So as you can see, <laughs> it's, it's raining and it's misty, but it also looks really cool. But VJ, we're just hoping that tomorrow it gets a bit clearer. But it's a bit sad for all the locals because their business has stopped because of the weather. They're just waiting here for tourists, but there's barely people in the water. Oh, that one. Oh my god. That's why he's very alive, as the only one. How romantic is that? Yes, because of the weather, we didn't do much. But luckily, it was super clear the next day. So we are ready for the Bai Din Den. It's an enormous temple complex and you have to buy tickets for an electric car. And that car Here you have to keep your cap straight. <laughs> oh, it's, and then also my hair is in my face, but it, it's perfect for the sun. Uh, but yeah, it, it's big. I didn't know it was this big and I'm I cannot wait to explore this area. So we got our e tuk tuk ride, and uh, this I'll explain <laughs> you later. Hello. Break my teeth. Now suddenly our cap is flying with a little bit of wind. I don't know how they do it on the motorbike. No. I know, I know. So it's going everywhere. Maybe we have to make this time. We are just entering the complex, and it looks so impressive. It is so big that you really cannot just go around here by yourself. But as soon as you go to the ticket counter, they ask you to pay for this uh, electric tuk-tuk and that would take you around. And the scooter ride to here was uh, pretty okay. That's just that Vietnamese, they ride a bit rough. So expect a lot of honking. As soon as they're behind you, they're gonna honk. So don't freak out. We are just in the first building and everything already looks so impressive. And all these things are in the new complex. So they were built from 2003 until 2010. And there's also an old side of the temple, what we're gonna show you later. If you are an Inbin, this is literally one of the best things what you can do is to come to this temple. It is so beautiful and now we are at the main temple i think because you see a really big buddha structure and after this we go to the tall tower and see how far we can go <laughs> so now i think it's finally time to see the the i still don't know the name of it you know something with three sometimes I top bao tian now i think it's in uh, pagoda we go there. Imagine walking the whole place. Whoa! Uh -huh. <laughs> and this it's maybe pretty nature, but you don't really see it. No, I think when we go where we go up all the way, there you see yeah, the Yeah, she said something about few points. Yeah. We made it. We are here. Look at my background. It is really pretty. And it's really different than other temples we have seen around Asia. 
I think I'm sure she's told that there's an elevator you go all the oh. way up. But I think it's a lifesaver when it's crazy sunny. Oh, Adi, we're here. I see an elevator. Yeah, it's not an elevator, Adi. Yeah. You have to first walk 100 steps before you get to the elevator. At least it's not that warm here. Oh. 12. You go to the 12th floor. 12th floor, wow. This is one of the most impressive temples we have ever seen. The question is why? Like, why is it so big? In here, in New yeah. in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. There are barely people living here. Crazy. So that's where our tuk-tuk they dropped us, our electric car, remember? Oh. And then we came to first temple, second oh, temple, yeah, yeah. third temple, and then we made it to here. Like, it's hard to tell in the video, but you would really have to come here to experience this place. We thought, oh, we just go there, we spend half an hour, hour, and then we go to our next destination. But we're already here for the last three hours or so. <laughs> <laughs> After so long we are having this such a nice proper healthy meal and the taste is just next level. Good morning from another day in Nimbim and we start this day with a delicious, hopefully delicious breakfast at Naas Cafe. Mira, stop playing with my coffee. I want to make your name. This is called salted coffee. And it has three layers, you see? First is the cream, and then we have coffee, and then we have the condensed milk. Oh, the cream is salty. Really? And sweet, you have to try it. Oh. Mira, Mira is not a coffee, Mira, like she... That's fine, Mira. You have to try it. So the salt is coffee, no, no, no. Oh, wow. It's, if you like, um, you have this chocolate, right? Salted. Uh, chocolate, you know what I mean? That's this taste, like a little bit of the salty after. Oh, it's nice. Yeah. Like if you do like this and it falls on your tongue, you have this little bit of salty bite. And when you sip it, you taste like the delicious coffee. Wow. Oh. Thank you. Oh, we just got some chocolate and banana pancakes and they look delicious and really pretty. That's a very big quantity, man. Yeah. One, two, three, and it's a lot of banana. Oh, it's nice. Wow, look at the crunch. So nice to have avocado. Adi is going crazy about this coffee, by the way. It is next level good. I think one of the most, like the... Innovative, innovative coffee. Yeah, the egg coffee is also really innovative. The coconut coffee, okay, I can, can come up with that as well. This one? Oh, it's so different things happening in your mouth. The salty, the sweetness, the softness of the coffee. Oh. We like the salted coffee that much that she just wanted us to try the coconut coffee because she said mine is really good and she's so true. This is really insane. It's really good. And you really taste the coffee because remember yesterday we had yours is, I don't know, just try it, Adi. So there's only one thing which I'm picky about in this world, is coffee. So let's see. Should I try with straw? And it's cold, so a bit different than the, what we had. It's a place to be to have coffee, yeah. Adi. Ooh. So we have been stopped by these people and they just insane aggressive. Huh? So you can just park for free there, but uh, they just, uh, are them. really not cool. <laughs> So it's not the nicest entrance to go to this place because when we drove here, yeah, we don't have that on camera, but really... We have it now. That he, yeah, but that he jumped in front of your scooter. No. Oh, he just really jumped in front of it. We have to brake as a crazy and he's like, bar, bar, like super aggressive, super aggressive. So we were like, okay, okay, but we saw people driving here. And then some other 
uh, French people came and they said, no, 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 you can drive, you can park up here for free. Now in the end we do have to pay here as well, but you can just drive all the way to the end. But the, just uh, how aggressive they are, like, what is that? Is this how you want to welcome people to your, to your area, to your lookout points? Scream to them, like really screaming. Like usually it is, of course, free. All the scooters behind me, it's all free parking, but there's just a few people sitting in a police cap. They don't even have a proper uniform and they're charging us money for parking. And if you don't, they're really aggressive. Like all these guys, they're charging for money. Look these guys. Money? So yeah. much. So you have to pay these people. So it's 100,000 dong per person, it's four euros per person. And it's getting busy now. I think we should have come a bit earlier, maybe. Hey, I do remember this. Yeah? That's funny. I've been here before, like eight years back, and I don't remember nothing I thought, but I do remember these horses. It's out of the whole lookout point, you remember these yeah. horses? Yeah, crazy, yeah? But I was so surprised that before I came here, I don't even know how I got here, you know? All these things, just eight years back. You just forget. It's crazy. Well, that's so why we film everything. Yeah, if you're young and and you travel, really film everything because you do forget. Really, already when you're 30, half of it is gone. There's also a lodge here, so you can stay here and then just go for an early morning hike. That's what we were also planning to do—an early morning hike here. But most of the time, early mornings here, it's super foggy. You don't see nothing, and just as the sun is coming up then all the fog kind of evaporates, maybe. <laughs> but now it's getting a bit more clear, but it's not as sunny as how it was yesterday. You have to have a little bit of fitness, which we don't have at the moment. So yeah, already two minutes and you'll be breathless. So I think it's actually good that it's not crazy sunny today or we'll be full on sweaty. Just like but warm. there's two lookout points so we're gonna check out both and decide it for you. Which one is worth it? We found aliens. Fair. You see, they make some form in the rice field. So this is how I am after doing even five minutes of cardio. I don't know, for some reason I just sweat like crazy. I'm not breathless or so. I just sweat like a pig. But it is really, it's it's really humid. humid. It's extremely humid. But the views are worth it. Yeah, so. and it's a little bit of blue sky. <laughs> Two seconds in, it's a bit packed with tourists. But the good part is I don't feel a bit awkward because everybody's sweating. We are halfway through this little hike because now yeah. we have to go to the dragon and that's a little bit higher. So Mira, are you ready? What? Yeah, let's, let's find go. some wind. You see the flag is not moving at all. There's Nothing. zero wind. Zero wind. So we're on our way to the left viewpoint and uh, still sweaty, still a lot of people. So let's see how it is up there. Mua Cave offers the most breathtaking viewpoint in Ninbin and atop its highest peak stands the Lying Dragon Mountain. From this dragon you will have an unbelievable view of the mountains and river. However, in practice the experience was quite intense and you'll be holding to the dragon for your life. It's hard to believe that all these people were just centimeters away from a massive cliff. We decided to escape and find a safer area with, believe us, the same views. This place, it only looks better with the drone shot. Yeah. <laughs> because when you're up there, you're so close to a dragon that you don't really see the dragon. You just enjoy, the, of course, the views around oh, no, you. Yeah, it is real, still a really cool place to go, but it's just really packed up there. It's kind of dangerous. I it is very al dangerous. Almost a bit of irresponsible. So I think if we did this on our day one, it'll be super slippery, rainy. Yeah. It would be really dangerous. Yeah. Um, I know a lot of people skip in there. But yeah, the cafe really, owner, she yeah, was oh saying. Yeah, she said no, most people don't stay here overnight, but it's really, the, the, everywhere the food is delicious, the accommodations are perfect, super cheap. So and yeah, like all of them, we saw the reviews, they're all oh, like above nine. Crazy. And yeah. all of them are like uh, homestays, so you are in direct in touch with the owner. Yeah. So. It's a really nice experience to so book here at least for two nights. That That's was it for the video. We hope that you enjoyed it and see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.